Joanna, good morning. It's great to have you with us and happy Friday, of course. Um, so, you know, Same to Apple. You has always made security a key selling point. Whether this is a glitch or not, we've gotten an increasing amount of these, an increasing number of updates. Is that argument starting to wane a little bit, the bigger the market gets for them? I wouldn't say with this one. I don't think this one is one of those freak out moments. This does happen, as you said, from time to time. There is an exploit. There is a vulnerability in the operating system. Apple lets people know or a, a security group lets people know and Apple patches it. And so that's the similar what we have now, though, as you've said, this has been growing and we are seeing impacts of that in the operating system. In fact, the next version of iOS, iOS 16, has sort of a lockdown mode, a hacker mode. So if you were to be hacked, that this 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 new uh, setting lets you just lock down your phone. So certainly continues to be a priority for Apple and they continue have to be, be nimble with these hacks. Back in the 90s and 2000s, Joanna, um, it was Microsoft and there was constant hacks because it was such a big target. Um, <laughs> you used to have to download separate software. Can we leave all of this to Apple? You know, is this a different moment? Obviously, it has a bigger target on its back today. But do you, consumers need to look at additional security for their iPhones and devices? Yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping our iPhones don't start to get pop-ups that say we need to update our Norton antivirus for, you know, <laughs> not in 90 days or our whole computer's not going to work. Um, but no, I think there's going to be additional things that people have to do uh, with, the, with the entrances of those vulnerabilities, where they're coming in, right? So some of these are now coming in through, through phone, uh, through text messages. They're coming through malware. So though it's, it's about how those things, how the entry points make it to the phone and how, how, both app makers and Apple can get better and more defensive about letting them in or blocking them. As we're talking, Joanna, NASDAQ down a full 2% here as the Dow's down 300. We'll monitor uh, the market activity on this Friday. Again, a big options expiration day. I am curious about your views on the uh, upcoming Apple launch event. You know, there's a spectrum of launch events in Apple's history. Some of them reveal big surprises. Some of them are more incremental. How do you think this one's going to rank? I think we're going to have a mix. There's a big difference, though, this year with the, the Apple event. And I will say it's very good news for stock for shareholders, uh, bad news for tech press. They seem to be Apple's expected to hold this event a week earlier than in years past. So it's looking at the we're, we're thinking the September 7th date is this year's launch or at least the announcement. Usually it's a week later. That's right after Labor Day. Not great news for tech press that have to get out there. Great news for shareholders, though, because it'll mean more sales in this quarter. Right. They will have now iPhones on store shelves earlier. And uh, what's expected is actually all four models to be out early this early in September. So um, not a, a staggered release like we've had in years past. Right. We're, working, we're looking at a chart of Apple's run up in the last uh, couple of months here. It really has been a general uh, in terms of uh, overall equity activity. And it, it takes me back to the middle part of the summer, Joanna, where we were severely worried about logistics and China production um, and Apple's ability to, to weather that storm. I wonder, looking back the last quarter or two, uh, how many of those fears do you think were really well founded? I mean, the fact that they are now holding an event earlier, right, so they've been able to get their act together to get what we, again, think are four models of the iPhone, right, iPhone 14 models, two on the sort of the regular size, then the big size, then we get the pros and a regular size and the pro size, get that all out early in September, I think is a pretty big feat for them. They're not going to be delayed, it seems. I mean, we don't know enough about what that inventory is going to look like. But an early September launch for all of these phones is very impressive in this market. 